Sheen Shop. Yeah, boy. Hey guys, welcome back to another Outward Top 5. Someone recently asked me to make a list of the 5 best tents in Outward. There really aren't that many tents in this game, to be honest, but we can still take a look at some of the ones you should be using. Some of these are actually pretty darn cool, and I would try to get them as soon as you can for those extra buffs. I'm leaving Totemic Lodge Tents out of this list for various reasons, but we'll show them off at the end of the video in case you're interested. But first, the Top 5 Tents in Outward Definitive Edition. The most underrated tent in Outward has to be the Plant Tent. It's sold by Soraborian Caravanners for only 8 silver, making it extremely easy to find and purchase. It refills your hunger and drink while resting, similar to how house and in beds work. You also get a buff after waking up that increases your hot weather defense by plus 10. If you've ever been to the desert or caldera, you understand how difficult it is to deal with heat sometimes. The plant tent can make this process much easier and might be a requirement if you tend to wear heavy armor all the time. It's cheap, helpful, and looks cool, but does have one major downside. It can't be picked back up. The plant tent is a literal plant and will die as soon as you try to pick it up, so it is only a one-time use item. This matters very little if you save up plant tents throughout your playthrough, but ultimately keeps it from being the best tent in Outward. Another useful tent in Outward is the Camouflage Tent, and it takes the number 4 spot on our list. This guy gives you a more survival-like tent, which is meant to blend in with surroundings, like Camo does. It can be bought from shopkeeper Pleal in Berg for a reasonable 50 silver. Sleeping in it significantly reduces the chance you will be ambushed, which does come in handy in caves. You also get a buff that makes you 5% more stealthy and decreases your stamina cost by 10%. I highly recommend this tent for roguelike builds, as you can't go wrong with more stealth. Less stamina usage is a common buff among tents, but negative 10% is a good amount, and ultimately the camo tent is not hard to get. It does however become much less useful outdoors, when you realize that sleeping in butterfly patches completely gets rid of ambushes without you guarding at all. This makes it pretty pointless to have unless you sleep in caves more often since those don't have butterfly patches. In the end, it does have a pretty important use, and I enjoy the survival appearance it gives off, so fourth place it is. The third best tent in Outward has to be the Mage Tent. You can buy it from Sewell and Levant for 100 silver, making it kinda pricey, but it is helpful to mages as sleeping in one reduces the amount of burnt stamina you will have after sleeping and offers a buff of negative 15% mana cost. Not only is this fantastic for mages, but melee builds can use this tent to make magic skills much more accessible to them without taking more mana. 15% is also a decent amount of negative mana cost and comes in handy for longer fights. So why is the magnificent mage tent only third on this list? It is not needed at all. I've recently completed Outward Definitive Edition with a few different builds, and not once did I choose to sleep in this thing. It's helpful, yes, but even heavy mage characters can get away with not using it, and sometimes I even recommend not using it, just so you can get a stamina buff instead. The mage tent is beyond valuable, and comes in handy early on in the build crafting process when you don't have enchantments and better armors supporting your mana. However, it just doesn't surpass the other tents in Outward, and falls short of the number one tent. The second best tent in Outward has to be the Luxury Tent. It can be bought in many different towns, but also lies on the second floor in the Dead Roots Cave, protected by an Immaculate. It is the heaviest of the tents, and actually increases your chance of being ambushed since, well, just look at it. You recover health faster while sleeping in it, which can cut down the time needed for resting. It also offers a negative 20% stamina cost buff, which is really why it's the number 2 on this list. This is the highest buff to stamina you can get from a tent, and it comes in handy for any build type. It's quite expensive, costing 200 silver to purchase, but again, negative 20 stamina cost. It also gets points for being as extravagant as possible. 
Imagine going camping with one of your friends, and he or she pulls a tent out with light bulbs inside, an air conditioning unit, and multiple blankets. This is the luxury tent. It is the fanciest way to sleep on the road, and if you're cool enough, it entices people to ambush you so you can beat the crap out of them and take their stuff. I've used this tent more times than I care to count, as the stamina buff changes the game entirely, and fine dining while on the road has never sounded like a bad idea to me. A solid second place choice. The single best tent in Outward has to be the Cali Gray Bone Cage. This beastly tent has a chance to be found in Ark of Exiled, Oily Cavern, or Steam Bath Tunnels over in Caldera, making it much harder to find than many other options. However, you can simply ask the friendly Immaculate in Caldera for shelter, and voila, it gives you the best tent in the game. Sleeping in this guy gives you a pretty crazy buff that increases your physical damage by 10% and gives you a 0.25 health regen per second. That health regen is more than you might think and lets you fight many different things without using healing items at all. It won't instantly heal you, but as you walk around, it will regen very quickly and decrease the wait time in between fights. Don't forget about the extra physical damage either, as adding this on top of some other bonuses gives you absolutely broken damage that deletes enemies quickly. The buffs are magnificent from the Caligre Bone Cage, and we can't end this list without bringing up its looks. You sleep inside the bones of some unfortunate creature, showing your strength and power. Definitely one of the more creative tents in the game, and you can't go wrong with this option. The Caligre Bone Cage is the best tent in Outward, and you should definitely add it to your collection as soon as possible. There are some other tents in Outward, such as the Fur Tent, which helps with cold weather, the Simple Tent, which is very simple, the Scourge Cocoon, which isn't very easy to use, and of course, the Classic Bed Roll, which is pretty terrible. But there are actually some other tents in the game that no one ever talks about. These are the Totemic Lodge Tents, and they can be crafted using an Advanced Tent, any of the better tents, and various materials. They all give you negative 15% stamina cost and increase some elemental damage by 10%. However, they also decrease your resistance to the opposite element by 35%, which is a lot. I find these very useless, except for particular bosses that don't deal certain damage types, yet are weak to another. You can get a lot of use out of these, yes, but having such a large weakness on the buffs they give really turns me away from them. They look super awesome, and credit goes to the developers for this design, but no casual player will ever use these. And someone like myself, who prefers to be at 100% strength all the time, won't even give them a second glance. The worst part about these is that the elemental buff they give is only 10%. That means very little in my book, and if you love them, I'm sorry, but they feel like padding added into the Three Brothers DLC for nothing other than more stuff. Feel free to try them out as there is a Lightning, Fire, Ice, Ethereal, and Corruption Lodge. But you won't catch me using them. Hopefully you enjoyed this Top 5 Tents video and consider leaving a like down below if you did. Tents are a huge part of Outward and you should always sleep at least an hour before any boss fight just to get the buffs they offer. And don't forget about Plant Tents. They weigh very little and decrease the stress of hot environments. Most experienced players often go days without sleeping for a tent buff, but that is simply because they don't need them as much. However, less experienced players should constantly be skipping nighttime with a decent tent as it massively improves the early game. Don't forget about the small stuff in Outward. A good tent should be on the top of your priority list when starting a new character, and the top 5 I mentioned earlier won't steer you wrong. Comment down below what your favorite tent is, and I will catch you next time.